Hello, welcome to our Liberty Gardens. I'm Carrie McKinnon. Today we're going to repot some begonias that we rescued from Lowe's. We got these for a dollar. Now this one did not have a pot. We got about 10 plants for a dollar. So we, I'll show you all of those in future video, but today we're just going to repot these begonias. But this one looks super sad. It's also super wet. This one is in the pot, in this lovely pot. And these were regular $20. They're from Costa Farms. So we'll save this, um, we'll save this pot for a future thing. These pots were made in Germany. So um, I'll use this for something else because I'm going to put these begonias into uh, these terracotta parts. So there he is. They're part of the Trinity Tropicals. Um, the thing that I don't like about Costa Farms is they don't put, they just have a generic, and I know it cuts down on cost, but they just have a generic plastic thing. And it really doesn't say, you know, it's a certain begonia. Now, the good thing about that is you can go on their website, you know, costafarms.com, and you can look uh, at different things. Um, we have the all the cats out here, some chickens, and of course Bellows out here around the house. Um, so the first thing we're going to do is I'm going to think I'm going to put the healthiest one in this big one, and we're going to do it first. And I'm just going to do it like this. And yes, as you can see, it is pretty root bound. I'm going to put it down in there because, as y'all know, Carrie lacks a lip. And so what we're going to do is we're going to use the soil that I have been using for everything lately. Um, this is a mixture of a little bit of peat, orchid bark, perlite. Um, so Bella will come back around from the back of the house here in a minute and we'll get to see him. Maybe. He may not come around. He's over by the stump reno and him. Um, but we're going to figure this out. These are not the first begonias I've had. Um, I did have some Rex begonias that I left at a friend's house because uh, last winter I was not able to be here. My house was way too cold. And that Rex begonia died. So, and you know, that's that happens. That's, that's a part of life. So we're gonna get this in. We're gonna get this nice and planted. I think it'll, you know, it'll look a little bit better. It has a lot, a lot of, um, you know, a lot of different, the way some different leaves are going and some stems are going. Uh, put just a tiny bit more soil in there spread that one out and that is the first one there comes Bello now, as you can see this one looks much healthier if I can get uh, there we go probably on that leaf there's not as many dead leaves and there's new leaves coming in um, so I got this last Wednesday so, um, and I'm just now getting around to repotting them on Sunday, but you know, when it's the winter, you got to do it. I don't normally right away repot stuff that I, I get, I let it get a little acclimated to my house and then I go from there. But this was so, these are so distressed and I got them for a dollar that, you know, I don't know. I think it's going to be, now this one is super wet as you can tell. I mean, that is just saturated. I mean, I'm kind of worried about, you know, how saturated it is. But I'm going to go ahead and stick this down in here and I'll put some dry dirt in there. Um, now, I pick off all these leaves that are, that are already starting to droop and stuff. And I do that simply because, not that I want to lose leaves, but, um... I kind of want, uh, I kind of would really like for this, th this begonia to just, you know, take off. 
I mean, I don't know that it's going to do that. It's, I mean, it's just, it's in some horrible, horrible shape. I mean, almost all of these leaves are, um, so we're going to leave it in here. We're going to put a little bit of more dirt, of course, um, and see if that can't dry some of it up. I didn't water this when it got at home because it was so wet. Um, you know, I wanted it to, I wanted it to really dry out. Um, I just didn't have time to repot it the last couple of days. And so, uh, since I, I'm hoping that, you know, by sticking this in a much heavier, a much perlite, more perlite soil that it'll kind of out. That's actually a rock, so we'll just leave that alone. But, as you can see, there is one little fresh leaf right here. I don't know if you can see that. And there's some other little leaves coming in. There's also one right here and one right here. And so, I think it'll live. It just needs to get dried out. But these were from Costa Farms. And this is the difference in... A little bit of the uh, saving of plants I'm you know I'm kind of a sucker for that clearance thing um, I usually don't buy clearance unless I mean I, I'm a sucker for it but um, it has to show a little bit of new growth and it's got to be like under two or three dollars but you can really tell the difference these I don't know the name I'm gonna go on costafarms.com but look at that and look at the backside how dark it is and when you feel this it's rough and the little dots are raised which is kind of cool um begonias are a little bit harder here um in the panhandle of texas we'll take that leaf off as you can see simply because we don't have enough humidity and so i've really got to get a humidifier for that part of the house um and hopefully these will perk up and um, we'll do a little bit more things. We had really, really bad wind, but I mean, this pot right here was worth a dollar. Doesn't have a hose, so it just becomes a cash pot. But the pot itself, that pot was worth a dollar, even if the plant dies. Probably worth two dollars, even if both of them die. So we got two bego we got I actually got three begonias I gave one to my friend Bonnie um I got some little bitty tiny things I'll show y'all um and I also got some a couple of orchids for a dollar that uh, may or may not make one will probably make it the other one's iffy but the pots were cute everything had a pot everything I got had a pot except for the one begonia that looked the burst um, and so I gave Bonnie three things. So Bonnie got three pots that are probably, would be seven or eight, maybe $10 pots, um, if they were sold by themselves. So I thought it was a really good deal. Um, so there's that. Um, I could always set that down in there. That's kind of cute. And I may do that. The other one won't do that, but... You know, we'll see how things are gonna happen. We're gonna film some of the other things we got. We did end up getting a Hoya Carnosa. Uh, we got some Primroses. Um, those we got. We got um, the two Begonias and the two other things. And um, <laughs> and there's the rooster. You, that is, those are not our roosters and chickens and, and hens. Those are from our next door neighbor and they come over here and they visit and um, the thing that I really don't like about them is they they poop on the porch. But, you know, <laughs> I love the sound. Um, we used to have 300 chickens. Um, I might be able to get that video up on, on YouTube at some point. Uh, we'll have chickens again. Anyway, this is our Liberty Gardens. Make sure you like and subscribe um, and We'll do a, probably a, in a maybe a couple of weeks, I'll do a, a update to see 
has this one come back and how well it's looking and how well this one is looking. Um, once again, this is our Liberty Gardens. Make sure you like and subscribe. I'm Carrie, your host, and we thank you. Have a great day. Bye.